Wow. You see that, man? Those fish get upside down, Scott, and they don't He's yours, move, isn't he? You going to rub his belly? Oh, yeah, look at him. He's a little 20-pounder. Oh, he's so angry. Presented by Yellowfin with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. I, I'll put selfish rigs on mono. Well, some bonitas would be nice, you know, too, if they won't yeah, eat that one. I'm going to bring four, bring four mine with mono. I'll set them up for black fin sales. Cherry to selfish rod. It's got 30 pounds on it. Okay. With a spear one circle hook. <laughs> spear one circle hook. Anything swimming around out here? Yeah, I went swimming the other day and and saw a few wahoos and a lot of sharks, man. So I think Imagine we might. that, more sharks. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think they follow us. <laughs> but I think uh, maybe we'll try to do a little, uh, just, you know, get off. This time of year, we love to set right off, off the edge of the reef, you know, with some live bait and just see what we can get what, what we can get going, you know. I mean, it'll be hopefully uh, sailfish and tunas and wahoos or what have you. But uh, for sure, I want to try to pull on some of these sharks. Yeah. I and mean, there is just a massive amount of nice sharks. So I'll even help you today. All right. I know I usually always make you pull on them, but let's go. I want to try out some of these new rods, man. Yeah. <laughs> let's take me to where the action is. I want to see what these got. So I came down to Key West. Again. It's uh, the full moon, it's December, thinking the Wahoos are gonna do that magic for us, but uh, cold front nails us, right? Right as soon as we get everything ready to go. So, you know, you told me last year, when it gets rough, they, they can be here, but they're tougher to target. So here we go, we're gonna give it a try. Yeah, we didn't care really what we caught. I knew that there'd be plenty of action. Um, you know, there was a, a lot of sharks in the area. Um, you know, a lot of people think, you know, oh, I don't wanna catch a shark or a shark's bad, but. In a, in a charter business, you know, a lot of folks never get to see a shark. Only when they do, it's in a movie or some mm -hmm. kind of reenactment on the news. Uh, so they enjoy getting a chance and an opportunity to catch a shark, and I, I do too. So, uh, you know, we, we knew no matter what, there'd be fish there to catch. You know, Wahoo would be nice. Hey, we're there. We're, we're here to go fishing. Yeah. Yeah. We did a little running, uh, and, and what we, you know, basically you look for the birds, and the birds are going to be on the bait. They're hungry first thing in the morning. That's when they're going to be the most aggressive hunting and looking the hardest, so we, we did some riding. You weren't uh, real excited about our chances for pilchards. For pilchards, yeah. Be, be, some of the other guys just weren't scoring well. Yeah, and the tide had been so low in the morning first thing, so uh, we found some birds diving in a couple different spots. You know, first few spots we didn't even pull in there because I knew there's no way we're getting in there. It's too shallow. Yeah, our bait boat. Yeah. Our 36-foot bait boat. Our, our, you know, <laughs> our bait boat, yeah. We had that joker shallow, you know. Um, but. But ultimately, you know, we had that wind, which kind of dirtied the water up, which made it a little tough on us. You had the low tide. Um, we worked hard at it, but we got it done. You know, I mean, it wasn't your normal one throw, you know, one and done situation. You know, we threw a few times to get the bait we needed, um, but we had it, and we were all fishing in no time. I think we probably spent an hour and a half. Uh, we had all the bait in the world. You know, that, that type of fishing, you got two options right there, and that day was basically built around sitting off of the reef you know, catching the pelagic, catching the tunas, the sails, the wahoos, uh, the, the bonitas, the dolphin, you know, off the reef. Did you see some stuff jumping back there, Scott? Yeah, that, that last scoop you threw got a little, little business. Looked like some small bonitas, you know, that prime wahoo food. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a piece of wire in case. Uh, I've, I've seen a couple kingfish air now, too. Yeah, in case uh, there's some toothy critters back there, I'm gonna go with a piece of wire. I know you like a slick calm for uh, your wahoo fishing, Mostly because of the diving, right? Or is it even I don't for the know. fishing? It just seems like they tend to come higher up to the surface when it's calm, you know? Well, it just seems like we got good tide with the wind. Is It's blowing 15 to 20, but it's not real. I don't feel like it's rough today. Yeah, no, that's what people don't realize is if, if you have the wind and the current going in the same direction, yeah. it's not near as uh, painful when they're yeah. going in opposite directions, you know? they would. Don't give up on a day until you need to find out where the wind tide's going for sure. Yeah. This, I mean, if the tide's going against the wind, we'd look looking five foot seas right now. Yeah. 
Exactly. You know, ultimately you start out, you know, you're going to get that anchor set up. I, I'd like to burn a couple blocks of chum at the beginning. That starts those fish working their way towards us. That Seems split. like the bonitas find us really quickly. And, and, but I have no problem with that because, you know, whenever I'm doing good with the sailfish, whenever I'm doing good with the tunas, whenever I'm doing good with the wahoos, I got bonitas there. It's like they all swim together. It's kind of like if you're flats fishing, and right? Don't get discouraged. The bonitas are the first thing you catch, even if it's for 30, 40 minutes. It's like when you're flats fishing. You're out there on the flats. You want to see stingrays. You want to see turtles. You want to see nurse sharks. You want to see uh, puffer fish. You want to see life, and, and that's what we're trying to bring by offshore, throwing that chum block over the side, getting the smell out there, getting anchored up, making sure the anchor's holding in the same spot. You don't want to be drifting, and just start throwing pelchers out there. Those pelchers with that current were probably three miles back. Who knows? But they get eaten. Mm -hmm. And then they get eaten. And they get eaten. And these fish just keep building. Fish hear other they fish feeding. Keep moving forwards until they quit finding yeah. fish. They hear other fish feeding and they just keep working closer and closer to us to the point of, wow, there's a sailfish. Oh, look at those tunas. Look at that kingfish. And then we start to fish. Beautiful. All right. We like those. Chum line's getting pretty. Beautiful bait right there, buddy. You got a bite? Get him, baby. Oh, shit. There you go. Get the harness out. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Yeti, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Simrad. Brought to you by the new Simrad NSS Sport touchscreen display. And by Costa Sunglasses. And Tailwalker Charters. This spot on diet Beautiful. All right. We like those. Chum line's getting pretty. Beautiful bait right there, buddy. That is mo bait. Well, the kingfish can start off red hot. I mean, we, there's every cast, and uh, right away you're like, okay, let's uh, start chopping some up and throwing them right back to the bottom. They're fresh. They're going to start sinking whole chunks down there. And you had been diving. You, you just wa you know, waxed a wahoo a couple days earlier. You knew that their sharks were swimming down there, and it's just a matter of getting them all, all jacked up. Special order? Right here? Yeah. Come out? Yeah. Yeah. Like that? Throw that over. All right, big shot. <laughs> I like that sound already. Oh boy. All right, boss, go get him. You want me to hunt down that harness? Yeah. All right. Let me just get that blood. How deep is it here? About 130. Get him, baby. Oh, shit. There you go. Get the harness out. Uh -huh. Got that part? Ooh, baby. Got real tackle now. All right. Set me up. I'm good. Put me on. Yeah, here. Yeah. Come up underneath. All right, I'll catch one if you catch one. I'm ready. I promise. Careful what you wish for, baby. Let me know what you need tightened or loosened or whatever. It's all set up for movies and stuff. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Going, going into the big gear. Wait. I'll talk to you in about 40 minutes. I mean, all you wanted, basically, the bull sharks. That was, you know, a given. Um, once we figured out they were there, um, you know, had Benitas mixed in. Uh, you know, the neat thing was is it seemed like every time that we did hook a shark, mm -hmm. everything else wanted to bite. I, I don't know if it has to do with the fact that... Just, just for the chaos. Yeah, <laughs> if it has to do with the fact that the shark is behind feeding, right? So he's back there feeding or, or keeping an eye on things. And then as soon as he's actually up, hooked up, I don't know if these other fish realize, hey, it's safe now, and they move in a little tighter as that shark's over here fighting. Uh, I, I know that uh, it seemed like every time we had a shark on, sailfish, tuna, 
king mackerel. Something came up and we were hooked up to some type of fish. Uh, they, they constantly amazed. Yeah, and I think also it has to do with, you know, if you're feeding them stuff without hooks in it, you know, and they get a bite, they're immediately going to swing back around and say, I just ate that. Mm -hmm. It didn't hurt me. It felt good. tasted good. Let me do that again. I know I'm doing my part for fishery and all, uh -huh. but now that I've seen the sailfish back there. And you don't want to be biting that shark anymore, do you? <laughs> I think he's learned his lesson. It's crazy, though. You hook them sharks, man. Everything gets fired up. <laughs> They're like, sweet, he's over there. We can come over here and eat. Generally, though, these sharks are such cowards. You can't really target them. Thumbs up. That's your meat. Sweet. Fingers across. Oh, there it is. You got him nice. Oh, got him. Come on, it's be a sail, be a sail. Jump, baby. Coming out over this way. Stay on top? Yeah. Man, I... I <laughs> you saw that I didn't do one. that on purpose, man. She bite that shark, but... Oh, my leader's up, buddy. What uh -oh. are you going to do about that? That's the one with all the radar thing. Oh, you got to be kidding me. There oh, is. oh, he, he jumped it, but I don't know, maybe. He's, all, he's mad. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Something to let go. Yeah. Oh, man. I see him jumping? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh something, something cut us off. Sorry about that, buddy. He got tail wrapped twice, taking that slow and steady. Yeah. He's got wrapped up. Yeah. That 30 pound leader. <laughs> All right, I'll catch a shark. I'll leader the shark. That was cool, man. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Mercury. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. And by King Sailfish Mounts and Spear One. You know, 90% of the fishing I do down here in the Keys and most every other angler, as you can see, is spinning rod and reel. You know, spinning rods and reels are so great because of the fact that not only can you cast these things a long way, you can actually drop them to the bottom, work an artificial lure, work a jig. Um, you know, you can accomplish anything from a small yellowtail to a bait fish to a giant tuna, sailfish, whatever you need. These, these reels are getting stronger and stronger as the day goes on. You know, this, this reel itself, the Raw 2, what it has is a very comfortable handle, which, you know, we spend a lot of time, sometimes up to 45 minutes to an hour fighting a fish. You want something comfortable. You know, other thing it has is an aluminum rotor. And what that does is offer immense power, strength, and rigidity. You know, this thing's gonna hold up. You know, along with the body uh, paint that it has, this stuff is adhered to this body that it's not gonna corrode up on you. You know, we're taking a lot of spray, a lot of salt on board. I don't care how big the boat is, you're gonna beat up the tackle when it comes to corrosion. These things hold up. Dual force drag, uh, enough power to stop a fish, but yet not making it so heavy that this thing's hard to handle. Um, Solid reel. We use these reels every day. I think you'll be very impressed. Ask for them at your local Bass Pro Shop. I almost like you to keep a little tension when I get on. I'm staying on. I'm pulling on. I'll help you. If you're not going to take a full wrap, I'll help you. I'll yeah, stay no, on. I'm not going to full wrap. You it. just tell me you want to dump it, and I'll, I'll be ready. Yeah, I don't do too many full wrap. One more spin. I think you might want to start playing with them now. and get him to calm down, man. Sometimes you turn these things over and they just lay there. Whoa! Look at that. Look where that hook's at. Look how fat that son of a gun is. That is a cobia. Look at it. It's about 18 inches long. Do you see it? That's, That's a 30-pounder back home. Wow. Do you see that, man? Those fish get upside down, Scott, and they don't He's even yours, move, isn't he? man. You going to rub his belly? Look how fat he is. Man, you can take your thigh out. We're good. Man, he, he wants to... They look like they're slow, but they're not. I mean, they, these things can grab tunas at full speed. Yeah, we remember a couple years ago we had them... Look at that head. Oh. Remember we had them chasing those yellowtail down. I mean, as fast as you could reel. 
Whoa. I'm on. I'm good. He's yours. I'm got him. <laughs> oh, I got some gloves now. I want to measure him. He's from the beginning of the G. Can you pick that tail up or no way, Jose? Can I? Yeah. Sure. Get that tip and stick out. I'll holler if his head's coming at you. He's sinking. <laughs> oh. It's a male. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> Got him pissed off? Oh. Man, that shit's holding on, ain't it? Roll over, baby. His head's so wide. It's amazing. I'm gonna grab his tail again. That way where a twist is holding up, baby. About time to let this guy go. Grab his class. <laughs> you want to grab it again? <laughs> he didn't like it last time. <laughs> I'm going to grab his door so when you cut him free. Oh, he's heavy. All right. Want to bump him in gear? I think you spin him over and toss him. He's good. Just got to get him roll over. All right. Careful. What a strong one. All right. Good. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Man, look at him swim away. He's right side up. Got his bearings. Well, right back. Like down. an airplane. You know, he's coasting right out. Good job. Your turn. Good job. <laughs> oh man. I did promise you I'd catch one, didn't I? See how nice this thing is? Yeah. I dropped no. my pad. I got your gloves. Yeah. No, that was great. Nice. Want to be on our show? Well, check us out on Facebook and find out how you can win an opportunity to come fishing with Scott and I on Into the Blue. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Cigar, always the best fishing line. Okuma Fishing Tackle, there's no stopping Okuma. Marine Formula Stable, for everyday optimal performance and protection. And by Ameritrail Boat Trailers and Under Armour. And that shark bite's automatic today, huh? 120 feet with that big a lead. We're just trying to gauge where we're at. Coming tight. It was actually on the bottom when he bit it. Gotcha. Get my other glove on here. Try to steer him away. Got a pair of dikes behind me. Some sails up again. All right, you've done your job. Let's see. How you feel? Oh! Got some violence. Man, I hooked right in the corner. Just like the same spot that last one was hooked, Scott. Same spot. Uh, uh. Want to cut him free? Yeah, do I can do that. He's in that drag. Got his head up. Dykes are right behind me. Drag loose. Sweet fish, man. Make it a little closer to him. Uh. Crap on him. All right, I'm going to cut him loose, buddy. Okay. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good job, man. That looked too easy. Awesome, dude. Good job on the leader, dude. That's cool, man. Good stuff. Uh, I'm glad mine was 100 pounds lighter than yours. Next big scoop you throw out. Here, here it comes. Yeah, a lot of sailfish man. come roaring in on us. And I mean, it's weird how every, that, every, like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it's just weird how that happens. You know, it's just that shark is there close to the boat. And it seems like anytime you bring that predator close to the boat, those fish will come in behind him. They don't mind coming in behind him, mm -hmm. but they don't want to come in front of that shark. So pointy in is no good. Yeah, so we <laughs> had the pointy in right in the boat side. Huh? I look back, there's sailfish everywhere. Is it on you or me? <laughs> I, mean, I think you're looking, you need to go back a little. Over here! Uh -huh. right. I've got one after me now. Look at this one right here. They're right by I the boat. I got the close one. Oh, he ate it right uh -huh. there. Oh, Still got the bait. He's eating it right now. He just ate it. Throw one more scoop for me. Oh, here he is, here he is. Oh, look, he's on me. Double it up. Look at him, he's on me. 
There's a triple. Oh, no, triple oh, no, oh, no, I tanked mine. There's four open wards. Look at him. He's on me right now. Hold on, don't set up on him yet. I'm not. I'm going to. He's right here. There's, they're everywhere. Did you get bit? Yeah. Oh, he's on me now. He's on me now. He's holding me. He's holding me. They're kind of lighting the flames. I got him. Something. Oh, he's out there. See him outside of us? Look, he's right there. Right there. <laughs> yeah, that's my beat. Come on. All right, he's holding me. He's holding me. I'm getting bit. You got your sail on? Yeah, man. I'm going to set up on mine. No drag. No drag. Oh, look at my guy. Look at my guy. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. Look at him. He's a little 20 pounder. Look at this go. Look at him go. Oh, he's so angry. <laughs> oh, he barely oh, got it. I broke my leader. Hey, he barely got under me. You see that? Oh, oh you got to be kidding me. I grabbed 25 pounds. Man, we are snake bit. That's 0 for 3 on the sailfish. <laughs> They're swimming. Oh man, I got mackled everything.